What is going on, guys? Thank you for being here. This week, we are wrapping up the cabin renovation. So it's turned out to be a three-part series. Part one, we did the uh, move the house, built the pad, built the deck, move the house back. Part two was a bit of the interior stuff, the paint, the floors. Uh, and now part three, we're gonna wrap it all up in a neat little bow and we'll move on to the next thing. So enough chit chat, let's hop to it. Let's go out to Eagle Bay and we'll do a full tour of the complete renovated cabin, so let's do it. All right guys, here we are in Eagle Bay. Now, a little bit of backstory on this. This is a family cabin that was bought new in 1995, and since that day, not a lot has changed. So no new flooring, no new walls, no new paint, a few pieces of furniture here and there over the years, but not much, right? So what we thought, here we are 25 years later, let's bring it up to speed, um, just give it a bit of a facelift. Now the idea was we spend a lot of our time outside, so that's gonna be the main focus. We want something that we can spend more time outside even if the weather's not perfect. And we had the idea of having three separate living spaces. Um, so I'll show you that, I think we hit it pretty well. And then for the inside, we just wanted, you know, bring it up to speed a little bit. Um, and I think we did that too. I heard the term beach chic thrown around a few times. I don't know exactly what that means, but I think we hit the vibe. I think we hit the vibe on that one. Um, but let's start on the outside and then we'll go inside with the full renovation tour of this 1995 SRI home in Eagle Bay. Let's do this thing. The first area of the deck we've got here was designed for mornings and evenings. So you come out, you wake up, you want to have a cup of coffee and maybe it's raining. Well, you're covered so you don't have to worry. And then in the evening when it's hot, you want to have a cold beverage but not be in the direct sun again you are set to go there now in the middle we've got the outdoor dining table and we wanted it under the cover again because this june and july just rained cats and dogs so wanted to be able to still be outside and enjoy eating outside without getting rained on i think we'll get some good use out of that now this is for those that like the sun so these are courtesy of kevin and carla who are currently sailing the world on SV Gargoyle and we're babysitting their chairs for the next three to five years while they do that. I'll put a link, you can check out their page because they are doing some very cool stuff right now. Now let's duck inside and check out the difference. Now, if you haven't watched the original video, I would encourage you to go back and watch it because the difference made in this 14 by 60, three bedroom, one bathroom home is absolutely ridiculous so these floors i love these floors they just brighten it up so much we had carpet and lino in it before and it just wasn't working this is so much better so this is the kitchen and the original was flower wallpaper above the stove so the new paint color is a massive improvement now you come down you got laundry on the left the bathroom on the right new shower curtain how are you now this is the bedroom we're using as a storage room so it's a decent size you could put a foamy in there if we had guests visit but right now it's for dog food recycling you know stuff like that this black fridge this is the adults fridge and what we've got in here salad look at that but we've also got beer strange combination salad and beer the whole fridge so we're kind of healthy, but also like to party, I guess. So this is the master bedroom and this is a king bed. So you do have room on either side for a night table. And look at this. I don't know if you noticed, it's kind of discreetly installed, <laughs> but that is an AC unit. Uh, there's no central air. So that's just doing the master bedroom. And no, I know it isn't discreetly installed. Look at how bright this is though. What a difference. We haven't got the window coverings on. This is all natural light coming in, um, but it's just so much brighter. It's absolutely amazing. So let's go back down through the living room. We'll check out this last bedroom here and then we'll wrap it up. So this is the 
second of three bedroom. That's a queen bed in there. Got your dresser. So that wraps up the entire renovation. We're really happy with the way it turned out for a 1995 home that really needed a facelift. Um, I think it turned out amazing. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this week. Next week, I'm gonna be in Vernon. We're taking that house out. I'm gonna be in Countryside. We got stuff going on there. I've got a house. I've got to figure out how we're gonna get it into a lot. And I'm ordering two houses, so lots going on. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.